it's one of those situations that this is a, a moment of truth here but this is going to be the first time we've dealt with this type of issue try to rescue this bomber real quick There's the newest one way up here, Brooks. Way up here, there's the newest one. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Marissa and Brooks and I did a little herd check and uh, there's a little issue I've been following along, but it got real serious uh, today. Now it's, uh, it's one of those situations that, that we've kind of already faced, but this is gonna be the first time we've dealt with this type of issue. And uh, let's just say things aren't getting easier on us this summer. Um, we've already lost one calf before. I've been following this cow for a little while, past couple of days, been chatting back and forth with Doc um, about some things, but it just got serious. And uh, I just got off the phone with him and Kevin, and I've got to make a quick move here to uh, try to save this cow's life. Let's just say that. So um, we're gonna go in the pasture. I wanted to go by myself to uh, do this the safe way and feel, feel comfortable about it and uh, see if I could get it. But I've got to find this cow, check on her, see how she's doing evaluate and see if I can get her up to the Ponderosa, catch her in our corral pens and take her uh, to mom and Kevin's. We're gonna have to move really quick because I don't have a squeeze chute here. Let's just say um, we gotta get her in the squeeze chute. It's pretty serious. Gotta lock core up first. Keep her in here. So we're looking for the Texas cow. She actually has a TX on her. I don't need the whole herd, but that looks like her right there. I think that's her. Here she comes. I don't need all of them, I just want her. We gotta get her through that gate up there and then we can catch her in that pen right there. Let's see what we've got. Let's see if our issue is still going on here. Oh, here comes Big Joe. Hey, Mama. All right, we still have our issue. Um, She's got a dead calf in her. We're gonna try to back up this situation here. Big Joe, he smells it. Hey buddy, don't get my tubes hit. Hey. She needs help. Come on, girl. We're just driving backwards right now. They're following us. If I can back up into it, maybe she'll follow me. Everybody's wanting to come to the show. if I can try to just get her in. Shoot. Oh, big 
Joe, I don't want you. All right, I'll just take this four, these four. Shoot, 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 shoot. There's our issue, folks. Not good. There's a dead calf in there. All right, so the four I got, I didn't want that many, but I did want a body with her because I knew she wouldn't like being alone. We got the 32 cal, got the jumper 54, and Texas mama here, and the big guy, Big Joe. Um, so we'll gate cut here in just a second. I've got to go borrow a trailer. I wanted to see if she still had, uh, if she hadn't aborted this calf or dropped this calf yet. So I've got to go literally down the road, grab a gooseneck, come back, and I've got to run it through here and get her caught. Um, while all these guys are up here, these Texas mamas are roaming together. So we've got to try to get that calf out and give her some vaccinations. Not good. I'll catch him when I get back. Borrowed my awesome neighbor's trailer real quick. It's the fastest trailer I could get. My 24 foot Titan is at mom and Kevin's, which is gonna be about 20 minutes over there. Hook it up about 20 minutes back. So kind of moving quick. The only bad part about this trailer, very, thank, very thankful my neighbor let me get this real quick. It's on, a, it's on a slam latch gate, not a sliding gate, which is doable, but that's my only little hiccup here, but we'll make it work. All right, just a quick update. I had to pin core up back here on the back west side of the barn. Got all my gates open. I'm gonna try to get her in here in this corral area where Corey normally stays. Trailer's hooked up, gates open, ready to go. If I can get her in here, in this area, then we're good. I can run her out and load her up in the loadout area. So. This is the, the moment of truth here is, can I get him to follow me? Big Joe has been down this road. He's too smart. He knows what happened. So let's see if he kind of makes them not want to come this way. Hopefully they're hungry for cubes. Got the bag rolling a little bit. See if she'll follow me. She's right here. There's Big Joe. See if she'll follow us. Us. It's just it's just me. Not even Maya. I didn't even bring Maya along on this. Got this side. Come on, mama. Let's take care of you. Come on. I'm just gonna drive in here. Come on. She may not like it. Come on, mama. Oh, dang. I was gonna cut him off, but. The boss came in and pushed her.
Okay, we got her where we want her. We got him distracted. Big Joe's in here. I don't really need him. I'm gonna see if I can cut her, get her to go down that lane here. I'm gonna have to put this down though. Joe can get out. Okay. Joe's out. He don't need to be in here. We got her, folks. We got her. Huh. I always make a disclaimer. Don't do what I do. Spend a lot of time with our bison. I know I say this, but don't do what I do. If you raise bison, you understand. You may think I'm a little crazy, but sometimes it's better by yourself. Know your distance what you can do. I'm 37, I may still be able to do this, but that doesn't mean I'm always gonna be able to do the acrobat stuff and get over there. So, anyways, do what we can for these animals. We gotta get that dead baby out of her, or what we can get out of her. It doesn't look good. Thanks for your help. He's good. Come on, let's go. You go to this other pen. Come on, let's go. Okay, we got her. Work doesn't stop here though. She's pretty chill actually, once she's been loaded. And um, we're only halfway there. We still got a lot of work to do, but we've got to, we gotta get that uh, dead calf out of her. Really? In a moment like this? Give you guys a quick little update here. Um, I pulled over at a Walmart, parked under a shade tree, uh, cause it is hot. Um, and uh, I'm waiting on uh, Marissa. She's coming to meet me and go help me at mom and Kevin's because uh, Kevin's gone. He's uh, he's at a dinner, so he's he's actually enjoying his Friday night. Um, this is not exactly what I want to be doing or having my wife do, but um, I'm gonna have uh, have her come help me. The reason why we couldn't work this cow at the Ponderosa is because we don't have a squeeze chute over there yet. We've got working pens and loadout pens, which you saw there we've used plenty of times and it works great but um as far as a squeeze chute that is something that we're missing and we just haven't got because we always borrow uh doc parsons squeeze chute when we handle the bison in our roundups um when i load the animals and uh, sometimes it's just better if i'm by myself i feel more comfortable if i'm by myself i can round them up sometimes better alone and so that's why i did that alone i know it's not the safest um i always try to keep my phone on me um at all times just in case so um anyways but we've got to get this cow 
we're gonna load her straight into the tub and she'll just go right into her alley into the uh, squeeze chute basically and from there I've got to get her a penicillin shot and then I also have to try to get all this calf out we got a front leg hanging out right now um, you can tell it's discolored it just doesn't look good this is the first time I'm dealing with this with a bison uh, I've done this with uh, sheep before because we used to raise show lambs back in the day when I was a munchkin doc said you're gonna have to do something fast to try to save her because he said there's a good chance that she may not make it so um, this all happened within a couple hours because I called him earlier this morning and he works the cell on Saturdays and I really wasn't sure what we were able to do and then he called me back this afternoon I was in a skid steer doing some work at the cabins and he called me and I chatted with him and he said yeah you need to get it out and so the only way we can is by catching her loading her up taking her mom to Kevin's put her in the squeeze chute and try to get out what we can there's uh, no guarantee that we're gonna be able to save this cow um, he said there's a good chance that she may not make it because it, there's no telling how long the calf's actually been in her dead in her it may not it may be a pretty gross situation so we'll see when we get there but we're gonna try to save this cow we this herd here she's part of my Texas herd and when I got them um, back in 2021 uh, they they were in rough shape and they've come so far so far and uh, this would have been her first baby in our hands and uh, obviously it's not gonna happen this year so um, these mamas have, have made a huge journey in two years um, they've probably gained four or five hundred pounds and that's that's not even kidding that's just from basic management of bison so um, they've got a good story behind them and I'm gonna hustle and try to we're gonna try to get this one taken care of Okay, we've got the mama um, loaded in the very front compartment. And because this is, uh, because we don't have a sliding gate, this whole thing is, we're having to maneuver some stuff around. We're not used to that. So um, the sliding ga gate, with the sliding gate makes it a lot easier. But here, this is just a swing gate. So there's our a swing gate right here. So we'll get her in here. Then we have to open it while she's in here. And then she'll go down the alley and then we'll get her in the squeeze chute and we're gonna put the glove on and uh, hopefully, hopefully this calf is in one whole piece. I hope, sorry to be graphic, but I hope. And then we're gonna give this mama some antibiotics because um, whatever's going on inside of her could kill her and uh, we want her to try to recover, so. There's a, should be a handle. You gotta pull it to you, maybe. All right, mama, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. It's all right. I know you've never been here. Come on. Do you want me to open this or not? 
You ready? Let's get her in there and get her caught. What do you need me to do, Dusty? And then we'll start this. Okay, what do you need okay. me to do first, though? You tell me what I need. You open that, and I'll get all the Okay. Is that how you want it? Yep. Nope, I'm, I'll get her. Can you tap her? Did you give her the shots already? Uh-uh. Do you need to swing that gate open, hun? No, so uh -uh. Well, you're going to get your arm caught there. Open this and let her out. All right, well, um, that didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go, but, um, I'm uh, kind of lost my uptight right now. So um, we're gonna leave her at mom and Kevin's for the night. And uh, so far she's doing okay. Obviously probably in some pain. I'm trying to lose some of that stuff, but um, we'll catch you up on uh, how it all went and um, what the diagnosis is. And uh, what do we do from here? And uh, just uh, what I just went through out there. Um, I give all the credit to veterinarians, let's just say that. We're gonna go home, rest. We'll be back tomorrow and check on her and hopefully she's doing okay. See you guys tomorrow.